hi everyone welcome to my channel crochet for baby thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this little poncho with hood for little girls between six months up to three years this one here that I'm going to show you in the tutorial is for a little girl between one and a half up to two and a half years old I used a light number three baby yarn with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook um, a couple weeks ago I uploaded a bigger version of this um, that one was for little girls between three and five I'll leave the link to that tutorial down here in the information box I got many messages when I uploaded that tutorial where lots of people were asking me to make it smaller so here it is okay so if you want to make it smaller for a little girl between 6 and 12 months all you have to do is just use a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook with light number 3 baby yarn for a little girl between 12 and 18 months, use a three millimeter crochet hook with light number three baby yarn. And for a little girl between two and a half years old up to three and a half years, use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook with light number three baby yarn. Remember that these sizes are not exact since not all babies are the same size. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn. I'm using Bernat Softy Baby. This is a light number three in this color pink, and I'm also going to use this color white. I'm going to make the color first in the color white, and then the rest of the poncho I'm going to make in this color pink. Um, you can use any color, any yarn, um, as long as it's a light number three baby yarn. Um, I'll leave a link down here in the information box to where you can purchase this yarn along with the hooks that I use. Okay, so to begin, I have 76 chain. This chain here measures 46 centimeters, which is about 18 inches and the stitch multiple to our base chain is multiples of three plus one okay so to begin we're going to join to the first chain and I'm going to do this until I come to the first chain so that my chain is not twisted so insert your hook through the front of the first chain like this and make a slip stitch okay now I'm going to chain one and into each one of these chains I'm going to make a half double crochet so beginning into the first chain I'm going to yarn over insert your hook into this next chain um, the first chain is here where we did the slip stitch so into the next one right here I'm going to make a half double crochet half double crochet into the next chain half double crochet into the next and so on this is all I'm going to do um, just make these half double crochets on each of the chains continue like this all around I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this first row I have a total of 75 half double crochets not including these two chains now to finish I'm just going to insert my hook here and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and we're going to turn this like this. Okay, so now the stitches that we did here in this row are going to be upside down. And now here, insert your hook into the first chain. This is the chain where we did the slip stitch when we joined right there and then make a slip stitch. Okay, now here I'm going to chain one and in this row we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets let me show you this first one here I'm going to work into a front post half double crochet the next one I'm going to make into a back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet this is all I'm going to do for this second row, just alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet all around. Continue like this, I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row and again I have a total of 75 half double crochets. Now to finish, I'm just going to insert my, my hook here where I have this chain here at the beginning and make a slip stitch. 
and this is how I finish this first row and all the rows that follow you're going to do the same thing now to make rows three and four you're going to chain one and these stitches that we have here we're going to work them in the same way so the first one here is a front post half double crochet so we're going to make a front post half double crochet the next one is a back post half double crochet so we're going to make a back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet okay this is all I'm going to do for this third row when you come here to the end you're just going to join here with to the side where we have this chain with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat one more row so I'll see you back at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of the third row I'm not going to do that fourth row that I told you so only do three rows I think that if we make one more row this is going to be a bit too wide and I don't want that so here what we're going to do is just join here to the beginning where we have this chain and make a slip stitch I've already cut my yarn so just pass your yarn through this last loop and this part here is done and this is what it looks like so now what we're going to do is this part here is going to be the top um, whereas this part here is going to be the bottom so we're going to turn this like this and beginning here right here I'm going to insert my hook what we're going to do next are single crochets um, inside each one of these stitches right there so beginning here insert your hook and we're going to start using um, the pink yarn here in my case and we're going to also start counting our rows so this is going to be the first row so now chain one and into the same stitch here make one single crochet now we're going to make single crochets all around like I said so into the next stitch right here make one more single crochet make sure that these single crochets that you make are nice and loose one more single crochet into the next stitch single crochet single crochet single crochet this is all I'm going to do all around so continue like this I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this first row I have a total of 74 single crochets up to here and I still have one more stitch here so this last stitch what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook here grab a loop and then insert your hook here right in the middle between this first and this last one that I just did right here right in the very middle and grab a loop three loops on the hook close um, we're going to work this this way because if I join here after I do the single crochet um, to the first single crochet there's going to be a, a small gap here and I don't want that so now we can join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet and this is how I finish this first row with a total of 75 single crochets now for the second row what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and into the same stitch here I'm going to make a double crochet chain one and into the same stitch here make two more double crochets one and two skip two single crochets one two and into the third make another fan so two double crochets one two chain one two double crochets one two one more time skip two single crochets one two and into the third make your next fan so two double crochets chain one two double crochets this is all we're going to do for this second row so continue like this all around I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this first row of fans and I have a total of 25 fans now to finish this row we're just going to go here between the double crochet and the three chains insert your hook there and make a slip stitch and this is how we finish each row where we do the fans now the stitch that I'm going to use to make this poncho it consists of two rows so the first row is the row where we do these fans and then the next row is what I'm going to show you so chain one and turn now we have these first two double crochets the second double crochet we're going to work a front post double crochet and then we have the next two double crochets of the same fan the first double crochet out of these two we're also going to work into a front post double crochet so let me show you the second double crochet here make a front post double crochet 
inside the chain one space you're going to make a double crochet chain one double crochet and then we have the next two the first double crochet out of these two make into a front post double crochet let me show you again we have the next fan so the second double crochet make a front post double crochet inside the chain space double crochet chain one double crochet and then again this first double crochet out of these two make into a front post double crochet so let me show you again the second double crochet make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space double crochet chain one double crochet and then this first double crochet out of these two make into a front post double crochet this is all we're going to do all around so continue like this I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this second row of fans now to finish this row where we do the front post double crochets you're just going to insert your hook here where we have the chain and make a slip stitch and this is how I finish the second row. Now from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows. So to make your row of fans, what you're going to do here is you're going to turn and you're going to make three slip stitches. One on top of the first double crochet, two on top of the second, and inside the chain one space. So let me show you. The first slip stitch goes here on top of the first double crochet the second one goes on top of the second double crochet and the third goes inside the chain one space now you're going to chain three double crochet chain one two double crochets and here's the first fan to this third row I mean the third row of fans I'm not counting the row of single crochet so I'm just going to count the rows of fans um, and this is what it looks like so inside each one of these chain one spaces of each fan you're going to do the same thing you're going to make two double crochets one two chain one two double crochets this row is super easy so just continue like this all around I'll meet you here at the end to show you once again um, the second row to our pattern stitch which is this row that we just finished okay I'm here at the end of this row of fans now to finish remember that in this row we just insert our hook here between the double crochet and the three chains and then make a slip stitch now for the next row we're going to work the row where we do the front post um, double crochets and to do that you're going to chain one and turn the second double crochet of this first fan you're going to make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space you're going to make a double crochet chain one double crochet and this first double crochet out of these two we're going to make a front post double crochet let me show you again the second double crochet make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space make a double crochet chain one double crochet and then this first double crochet out of these two work a front post double crochet this is all we're going to do so you're going to just continue and repeat these two rows I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do but I'll let you know here how many rows I'm going to do so far we have one two three four so I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of the eighth row of fans I'm not counting this first row of single crochet so let me show you we have two four six eight rows my last row here is the row where we do the front post double crochets um, and it's measuring from here to here it measures about 12 centimeters which is uh, about five inches okay so now to finish this row here um, I'm just going to go into this chain right here on the side and make a slip stitch I've already cut my yarn because the next row that I'm going to do is going to be in a different color if you're going to do the next row it, um, in the color pink just don't do this part just do what I'm going to do next so here I'm just going to pass this yarn through this last loop and this part here is done so now this is the right side so we're going to turn this over like this and what we're going to do is I'm going to make six double crochets inside each one of these chain one spaces or inside these fans here if you're not changing color you would have just turned and made the three slip stitches that we normally do and then chain three here but since I, I cut my yarn I'm just going to go here 
and grab this loop, bring it through the front like this, and chain three. One, two, three. Now inside the space here, I'm going to make five more double crochets, including the three chains. I have two right now. That's two, three, four, five, six. So I did five double crochets plus the three chains. I have a total of six double crochets. Now jump to the next chain one space and make six double crochets. This is all I'm going to do all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now to finish here, I'm just going to insert my hook here between the double crochet and the three chains and make one single crochet. Now I'm going to chain four. The first three chains counts as one double crochet and then we have a space chain. In this row, what we're going to do is, uh, for each one of your fans, what you're going to do is between the double crochets right in the middle, you're going to make a double crochet like this. Then you're going to chain one and then go to the next two in the middle, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. So between each double crochet, you're going to make a double crochet and a chain one. And this is what it should look like. Now to jump to the next fan, you're not going to chain one here, but rather just go straight to the first space here and make a double crochet, chain one double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, so continue like this all around this row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now to finish, just insert your hook here and make a slip stitch. Now for the next row, you're going to chain three and make a slip stitch. So beginning here, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. This is all we're going to do all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here I just did my last three chains and then just made a slip stitch here into the slip stitch space that we have here and then pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and make um, a couple more rows um, with the same stitch here. Um, and to do that, let me show you where we're going to do these um, V stitches. We're going to start with a row of V stitches all around and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make our V stitches between th the three double crochets that make up this fan, right here, right in the very middle, and then we're going to make one right here between the fans, so right here in the middle. And then again, split three and three double crochets on each side, and then make a V-stitch here, and then a V-stitch here. So let me show you that. And this row, we're going to work it from the uh, wrong side. So you don't have to turn it, all you have to do is just insert your hook here through the back, and I'm going to insert my hook here. This is where we finished this last row of um, in this color pink. So just insert your hook through the back right there and then grab a loop. I'm going to use this color pink, bring it through the front and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. The first three chains count as one double crochet and then we have two space chains. And then into the same stitch here, I'm going to make a double crochet. So this is a V stitch here. Okay, now we have the first fan, the six double crochets, just split them in half. So three double crochets on one side and three in the other. And insert your hook and make one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And here's the second V stitch. Now the third V stitch is going to go right in the middle between this fan and this fan, right here. So make a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Let me show you again. We have the next fan and then we have the six double crochets. Split three on one side and three on the other and insert your hook there and make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And then again between the fans, 
right in the middle right there double crochet two chains double crochet this is all I'm going to do all around just make these V stitches of double crochet two chains double crochet all around continue like this I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. I have a total of 50 V stitches all around. Now to finish, just insert your hook here and make a slip stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three. Inside this chain space, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. One, two. In this row, we're just going to make these fans, which is the first row to our pattern stitch. So into the next V stitch, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of fans. To finish this row, we're going to go here between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. Now from here on, we're just going to repeat our pattern stitch of um, these two rows, the first row of fans and then the second row where we do the front post double crochets. So to do the second row here, we're going to chain one and turn. Remember that this second double crochet here we're going to work a front post double crochet inside the chain one space you're going to make a double crochet chain one double crochet then this first double crochet out of these two make a front post double crochet let me show you again so the second double crochet front post double crochet inside the chain one space double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then this first double crochet out of these two, front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do for the second row of fans, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row of fans. Um, now to finish, I'm just going to go here to the side where I, where I have the chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how we're going to finish this row. Now from here on, you're just going to repeat these two rows, the row where we do the fans and this last row that we just finished. Um, so let me show you quickly the next row. The next row is going to be where we do the fans. So you're just going to turn and make these three slip stitches one on top of the first double crochet, the second on top of the second double crochet, and the next inside the chain one space. Now chain three, make one double crochet inside, chain one and then two double crochets into the same stitch, one and two. This row is super easy because all you do are these fans. So jump to the next fan and inside this chain one space, you're going to make the same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so continue like this all around. Once you come here to the end, you're just going to go here between the double crochet and the three chains right here and make a slip stitch. And then you're going to repeat this row where we make the front post double crochets. Um, and that's all, you're just going to repeat the two rows. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll let you know here how many rows I'm going to do. So far we have one, two, three rows. I'm not counting this V-stitch row, I'm just counting the fan row. So um, continue repeating these two rows and I'll meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this last row of fans and I did a total of, let's see, I did two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 rows of fans, plus the row of V stitches that we did here at the beginning. So we have a total of 16 rows and it measures from the top here to the bottom, it's measuring 30 centimeters, which is about 12 inches. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a border around the bottom of our poncho so what we're going to do next here is without turning this is my last row here of just your normal two double crochets chain one two double crochet row um, so don't turn here what you're going to do is chain one and into the same stitch here where we did the slip stitch go in and make a single crochet now chain two inside this chain one space make one single crochet three chains, one single crochet, two chains, 
and between this fan and this fan right in the middle you're going to make one single crochet let me show you again so chain two inside the chain one space make a single crochet chain three single crochet back again inside the chain one space chain two and single crochet between the fans okay this is how you're going to work this row so continue like this I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I finished this last row here I made my last two chains and then just joined here with a slip stitch to the first single crochet cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop so this row here is done now we're going to make one more row so to do that we're going to turn this over like this so this is the wrong side now with um, we're going to switch from a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook to a 4 millimeter crochet hook um, so beginning here between this fan and this fan right in the very middle I'm going to grab this color white bring it through the front like this and chain one now between each of these fans see we have these fans so right between them right here if you open them we have this stitch here so you're just going to insert your hook there and make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now jump to the next fan and same thing, open this a little and inside you're going to make two double crochets, one, two, two chains, two double crochets. Let me show you again. The next fan, open this a little to make it easier. And then inside here, you're going to make two double crochets, one, two, two chains, two double crochets. Okay, this is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I made my last fan. To finish this row, just insert your hook here where we have this chain right here on the side and then insert your hook into the same stitch back here. So right there, grab a loop and make a single crochet. Now you're going to chain two, insert your hook through the white fan and through the three chains of this pink fan. So right there, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet back again into the same stitch now i forgot to tell you that we're going to continue once again with the four millimeter crochet hook to make this last row okay so now chain two and between the two white fans right in the middle make one single crochet chain two insert your hook through this fan and inside the chain three space of the fan behind make a single crochet chain three single crochet into the same stitch chain two single crochet between the two white fans chain two insert your hook through this white fan inside the chain three make a single crochet chain three single crochet this is how you're going to continue all around and this is what it looks like through the front. So very beautiful stitch. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this last row. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here I just did my last two chains and then I just joined here to the side with a slip stitch. Cut my yarn and this part here is done. And this is what it looks like. I think it's a beautiful border and that's what it looks like. Okay, so as it is, it's done. If you don't want to add a hood, then you don't have to do this next um, part. What I'm going to do is I am going to add a hood to my little poncho. So to do that, what I did here is I determined the middle or the center stitch right here. So this is the back and this is the front and then I put a stitch marker here. So knowing which is the center, for me this is the center, I counted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and into the eleventh stitch i put a stitch marker and then i did the same thing here into the eleventh stitch now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over like this and we're going to work fans just like these um, here right where we have this fan so right into this same stitch using the same hook the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook 
right there that's where we're going to do these fans so let me show you before I get started so that you know exactly where we're going to do these fans so right there right there okay so beginning here into this fan and if you count the fans I think this is going to help also um, between this stitch marker and this stitch marker I have one two three four five six seven eight fans so beginning into this first fan here I'm going to insert my hook here into this row. This is this row here is um, the last row that we did in front post half double crochets and back post half double crochets. So um, it's this um, stitch here. So right there, insert your hook into this row here, right there. Grab a loop. I'm going to grab this pink color. Bring it through the front and chain three. One two, three. Now we're going to jump to this next fan right here and we're going to make our first fan. So go into that stitch right there that I showed you. Make a double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, jump to the next fan, this one here, and insert your hook right there where I showed you okay and make your next fan double crochet double crochet chain one two double crochets okay and then once again jump to the next fan so right here see and make another fan two double crochets chain one two double crochets now this is all I'm going to do all around until I come here to this stitch marker. So continue like this. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here on this other side. Up to here I have 17 fans. So now here to finish into this last fan, which is right where we have this stitch marker, I'm going to go in and make a double crochet right there. So make your last double crochet. And now we're going to go back and do the same thing. So chain three and turn. Okay, inside each one of these fans, inside the chain one space, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Okay, so continue like this until you come here to this last fan. I'll meet you here on this side to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end to finish this row. Just pinch um, the second chain here right here and then make a double crochet. Okay, and this is how we finish the second row. Now for the third row, you're going to chain three again and turn. Now in this row, we're going to repeat the second row that we always do uh, for our pattern stitch. So to do that, remember that on the second double crochet of this fan, we make a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then the first double crochet out of these two, a front post double crochet. Let me show you again. The second double crochet, make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then the first double crochet out of these two, a front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do on each one of these fans, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end to finish this row. Remember that we always pinch the second chain here and make a double crochet at the end. Now, you're going to repeat this row from here on and the row of fans. So to do the next row, this is where we do the fan rows. So chain three and turn. Okay, inside each one of these chain one spaces of each fan, you're going to make two double crochets. One, two, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so continue like this for this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to do the same thing we did here to finish the row, which is 
pinch the second chain and make your last double crochet and then chain three and then repeat this row where we just finished that we just finished the row of um, these front post double crochets and then again you're going to repeat this fan row so continue repeating these two rows so far we have four rows I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do but I'll let you know here how many rows I'm going to do so I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of the 20th row and it measures from the first fan that we did up to this last row of fans it measures nine and a half inches which is about 24 centimeters make sure that this um, is going to be okay when you try it on your little girl um, if you want to make the hood a bit larger or longer you can just continue making more rows but if you need to reduce rows you can do that as well just make sure that it fits um, accordingly to the size that you're making your um, baby poncho Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to close. So we're going to join, this is the back. So we're going to join um, like this. Pinch this third chain on this side and then grab this loop. Bring it through the front, chain one. And now we're going to turn this like this. Okay, so now insert your hook into this first double crochet, this one here and in the back insert your hook into the space between the fan and the last double crochet here at the end so grab a loop bring it through the front and make a slip stitch now make sure that your fans are aligned so that your each one of the stitches is aligned with the one in the back so into the first double crochet insert your hook and into the first double crochet here in the back make sure that you don't go for the back fan you don't go on top of this one your um, double crochet is back here that stitch right there so grab this loop bring it through the front and make a slip stitch again and on top of the second do the same thing inside of the chain one space same thing a slip stitch slip stitch and slip stitch now another way that you can close this is um, cut your yarn and then leave a long tail and then sew this part here but I think this way is easier so now again we have the next fan go to the first one and on top of the first one and make a slip stitch and so on now this is all I'm going to do until I come here to this other end so I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making my last um, slip stitch here and I cut my yarn and then I just passed my yarn through that last stitch and this part here is closed so now we can turn this over and this is what it looks like okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work half double crochets all around so to do that I'm going to insert my hook into this space here this is where we have the double crochet so into the next stitch right here I'm going to insert the hook and with the color white in this case I'm going to bring this loop through like this like this okay and chain one now we're going to turn this over like this and here along the edge we have double crochets chain three double crochets chain three what I'm going to do here is when we have a double crochet you're going to make three half double crochets then two three two three two so let me show you so into this first one you're going to make three half double crochets one two three into the next space two half double crochets into the next three half double crochets into the next two this is all I'm going to do so continue like this all around I'll meet you here on this other side to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at this other end now to finish we're just going to make a slip stitch into this stitch here let me show you we have the three chains into this stitch so into the next stitch this one here insert your hook and make a slip stitch now go into the next stitch this one here right there and make another slip stitch now chain one and turn 
Now for this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make front post and back post half double crochets. So front, back, front, back, all the way around. Now if you have problems making this um, stitch, just make um, half double crochets again for one more row. So now here, we have the first half double crochet. I'm going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one, a back post half double crochet. Front post half double crochet. Back post half double crochet. This is all I'm going to do all around, so continue like this, alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet all the way to this other side. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here on this other side. Now to finish this row, I'm going to go into the next stitch. This is where we started, so into this next stitch right here, I'm going to make a slip stitch. Now go into the next stitch right here and make another slip stitch. Now chain one and turn. Now we're going to go back and work these stitches as they are. So if it's a front post half double crochet, you're going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post, you make a back post. Front post, back post. Front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet. This is all we're going to do all around this third row, so continue like this. I'll meet you here on this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end now to finish. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the next stitch. This is where we did the second row, and into this next stitch right here, I'm going to insert my hook and make a slip stitch. I've already cut my yarn, and so just pass your yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. Just hide your ends. Okay, so now as it is, it's done. All I have to do is just hide my ends, but um, I'm going to do a row of pink um, right here, right around the um, this border here that we did. We're going to go to the back and we're going to turn this like this. So into this chain three space, this is where we finish this row where we did the three chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet. So into that three chain, with this color pink, I'm going to bring this loop through the front like this and chain three. Now that we did the three chains into this next chain three space, make a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet. Now this is all I'm going to do all around, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you um, what it looks like and our poncho is done. Okay, I finished making this row here. All I did here was uh, I did my last three chains and then I did a slip stitch here where we did the first um, chain here. So right there, that's where I joined. And this um, is all done. My little poncho is done. This is what it looks like. I also went ahead and did a chain and I just added my pom-poms here at the end. Now many of you were asking in my last tutorial where I showed you the other poncho um, how I did this. And basically um, when I chained, I left the little tail here at the end and um, when I finished so that when um, my pom-poms were ready, I just tied it right where we tie the pom-poms, um, that's where I tied this little string and this is what it looks like. So, and then um, the chain that I did is about 80 chains and then I just weaved it um, here in the middle row and that's what it looks like. And then I also added a little pom-pom here at the top of the hood, okay? So my little poncho is all done and this is what it looks like. I'll leave a couple pictures um, at the end here so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.